drink, my precious. So welcome to today's video, where it is currently roughly around 9 p.m. and we're gassing up the car to get ready to go to Daikoku PA. We're gonna be pretty much just hanging out and checking out all the cool cars there as per normal. And if you don't know what Daikoku PA is, uh, it's essentially like every Friday, Saturday, Sunday night is like an impromptu car meet there. No one has any plans or makes plans. Well, some little small clubs do. But everyone just knows if you want a good time and you love the car community and you have a cool car and you just want to hang around other car people, just go to Daikoku PA. That is literally, hang on a second, we just gotta put this thing back in there. Yep. There we go. And that is what Daikoku PA is. For generations, and literally generations, people have been going there to just meet new people, hang out, and just have a good time. Look at each other's cars, get inspiration, talk. Just awesomeness. No, no loud burnouts, no loud revving. So yeah, that pretty much sums up what we're about to go do. Let's go to Daikoku, check out some cool cars and pick it up from there. It's been a while since I was there. I think it's been like three, maybe even three weeks to like a month now. I think since I was last there, I've just had so much other stuff happening and all I felt like doing today, I did work on the Mini today, but that'll be a video later on that'll come out because it was just uh, such a quick amount of work. There was no point making a vlog out of it. So anyways, that aside, let's get there and see what cool cars are waiting for us. All right, so we're rolling in right now. Damn. What a turnout. So many Lotuses lined up there. Woo. All right, I'm pumped. Let's go park. Taking a quick moment to tell you about today's video sponsor, which is Dafsky. And if you don't know who Dafsky are, they are an online store dedicated to making your car always smelling fresh. They have a huge range of scents and designs and I think what's really awesome is just how much they cater to the Japanese car community. So I'm sure you're gonna find something there that you're gonna love. So definitely before you just go grab a generic air freshener from your convenience store, why not get something that also matches the genre that you're into in the car scene. So head to dafsky.com and grab yourself some air fresheners. And don't forget guys to support the companies that support me because I would not be able to do the things that I'm doing today if it wasn't for companies like Dafsky. So thank you Dafsky for sponsoring this video. So I guess we should probably start up the back here. There is a huge lineup of Lotuses here, which is pretty cool. And then on this side, we got some other cool cars, but I guess we'll go through this line here. There's Alfa Romeo there. Lotus, 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 Lotus. <laughs> I've never seen so many of these cars side by side. Maybe these guys did a bit of a track day today because that guy's still got his number on. Very cool cars. I don't think I can fit in these though. They're pretty small internally. Still, they look like a lot of fun. Let's take a quick look up here. We got a 370Z. Actually, kind of like these uh, custom headlights on the 370Z. Kind of make it look nice. 350. We've got an S2000. Nice blue. We got black. Pretty stock looking S15. I think that's a Nismo Note or March. I need to memorize what the the, the Note and the March look like on the front. And an Odyssey. That thing is slammed. Very cool. And of course, we got a nice Laurel here with those eyelids and custom headlights. Looks pretty nice. Yeah, let's keep walking around, hey? We've got another Laurel here on the ground, practically. That looks actually kind of cool, not gonna lie. And we got this nice Stasia next to it. Damn, that's a nice 30, 35 GTR. A lot of carbon on that. This thing's nice, I'm not gonna lie, I really do dig this. Definitely, I hope he's not static, I hope he's bag. Oh no, something tells me he's static. I think he's actually static, wow. That'd be so hard to drive through Tokyo with all the potholes and driveways and stuff. Nice Stasia, that, this thing's slammed too. <laughs> Don't think I've ever seen a, a, a Stasia this low before on the ground. It's in really nice condition too, by the looks of it. Too bad. Got an RX-8, 350Z, RX-7FD, nice yellow one with the carbon fiber hood. 
Are they off the room air? A lot of European cars here tonight, especially in this line as well. A lot of Alfa Romeos and Renaults. Ooh, where's May at? Nice pink RX-8. Not too bad. Got an EK Civic. Subaru. EF. There's that GTR we saw roll in just before. Yeah, that thing is nice that a lot. Damn, there is a lot of Alfa Romeos in this lineup. <laughs> Keep walking through here. We've got a really nice Mark II. It's like a glitter kind of black paint. It looks like it's, it was a black base with like a really heavy red flake and glitter clear coat. Looks cool. Not bad. Nice S13, dig that. Put a Colky S14 here. Hmm. Nice 33 GTR. Ooh. Not too bad, not too bad. Didn't scrape as bad as I thought it would. Nice FT RX7. Man, there's a lot of cool cars out tonight. This is pretty cool. I think we've seen this one before. This 180SX, the guy modified the frame and stuff so it could get lower. Yeah, that's why, like, the cam cover is sticking out of the hood there a bit. <laughs> it's so low that the chassis has been dropped. Very cool. Just get a look at the rear of this so you get an idea of how low this thing is. A lot of chassis modifications to get your S chassis to sit that low. They literally, it's almost on the ground. Pretty much touching the ground there. Side skirt. Very cool. Rear shot of that. It's insane. Got to appreciate the amount of effort that went into that to make it look like that though. It's a 34 GTR straight ahead. 350Z. And so many cool cars. This FD RX-7 here as well. Hey. It's probably one of the only BMWs I really enjoy. We've got another 350Z with a few S15s lined up here, which is nice to see. Clean ones too. Not bad. And over here, some more S chassis. Fair few nice 180s. Yeah, this thing's clean. Oh, interesting. Why did he move the radiator so far forward? Ah, oh, because he put the intercooler right there. Not bad, as long as the thermos can keep up. This one's clean too, this 180. The 33 four-door. This thing we see around a lot, it's pretty clean though. This thing's pretty cool. I love the waving, the moving Hello Kitty on the back. <laughs> Never gets old. This thing's pretty cool too. <laughs> Not bad. It's like a blue flake glitter paint. Pretty cool. Fair few of these uh, VIP cars are kind of heading out now. Ooh, let's have a look at these. Uh, I think there's an FC up here and an FD. Oh, those guys moved from around the other side to here. We didn't see that FC before though. And there's a 32 GTR here now. Let's have a quick squeeze of this. I'm not gonna lie, I really am a sucker for like uh, tire brands painted on the wheels. I think it looks so cool. I dig this a lot. The old PMCS like kind of livery sticker at the back. It's not bad. Anyways, let's get a good look at this FC. It is very nice. 32 GTR wheels, I dig that. Really clean, unmolested. Nice. And then we saw this FD and the pink RX-8 and the blue 350 on the other side before. Let's keep walking and see what else. Whoa. Hey, we saw this guy a while ago. In the pink S15. Cool to see that guy back out here. There's a Team Reverse Mark II. It's a cool car. The, the driver's a really good driver too. Very cool. It's crazy that you can get cars like that street legal here, right? 
All right, let's keep walking because all the cool cars just keep extending through the entire car park. In fact, I had to park all the way up there because uh, there was no free parks down here when I first drove through. I had to do a lap. Pretty cool Liberty Walk body kit on that uh, 350Z. We've got a nice Hokolska here. This thing looks really clean. It's been very well looked after. Very nice car. Damn, that is very nice. That's a picture right there. That's my thumbnail, I think. We got an S15, we've got a Sora. Couple more RX-8s through here. Man, it is so busy tonight. Let's get through to the other side. That's an interesting hood. I don't think I've ever seen a hood where it does like a double V like that on an RX-8. Interesting. Man, that's so cool. I want light up number plates so bad, but there's such a pain in the ass to run wires to. Especially if you're uh, number plate has to connect to your bumper. A lot of RX-8s here. That's pretty crazy looking. Not bad. Right, let's keep going. This thing's cool. Old school. This is like a, a perfect example that busts the myth about how the older the cars get in Japan, the more expensive it is to own. Really, the tax that they charge you, it doesn't really go up by that much. It's super affordable, and it's just a myth that a lot of like dealers overseas say to explain why all their old Japanese cars have low kilometers. That's what they used to say back in the days before people could check auction results and see that the odometers were wound back. All the way up the front here is the Suzuki Swift. Some interesting Hatsune Miku kind of a tusher on the car. I don't know if you could call that a tusher. I guess you could. It's just got Miku like all over it. It's not too bad. Let's keep rolling through here. Damn, that thing's nice. There's a lot of really cool cars out here tonight. I'm glad I definitely came. Wait a minute. Is that a Supra? No way. It's good to see all these new Supras out and about. It's starting to become more normal. Like, I'm getting used to it, that's for sure. Yo, EG, that's the Dream Civic right there. One day I'll have one. We'll make 800 horsepower with a K-Swap. It'll be sick. Nice Rexy. Got an S15 here with a mix match bumper. I actually know the guys that uh, own that car. He's a cool dude. It's NB, RX-8. Nice clean NA behind there. Not too bad. Ooh, 34. Nice, nice. Looks like a four door. Nice carbon fiber lip down the bottom there. It's pretty cool. Ooh, another S15. This one's like a yellowy gold by the looks of it. It's kind of cool. Looks like they're working on it right now as well. I've been seeing a lot more people like working on their cars here and like exchanging parts with one another. Nice SW20 MR2 Z32. Not too bad. Ah. There's a 1J hiding in this one. Not bad. Very cool. It's good to see a lot more people doing swaps like that on their street cars. Street cars. I think that's pretty much it. I think we've like lapped this entire place. It's so full tonight too. Genuinely a really good night to just hang out. That's for sure. So cool. NV and an NA Miata there. Oh, did we see these two 33 GDRs? I don't think we walked up at this end. Yeah, no, I don't think we did. Nice ND there too. Yeah. Kind of like twins right now. Midnight purple and a beautiful silver R33 GTR. Very nice. I don't know why more people don't like this chassis. I mean, I get it that like, it's kind of like the ugly duckling, I guess, out of the bunch, but still such a really good car and they handle really good. As long as you set them up right with the correct suspension. I'm really glad I walked up the back here because this thing is on the ground, literally. Did not expect to see these things here. 
so cool. I like this thing, all stretched out and long with the back tray and everything enclosed on the ground. Let's see if we can brighten that up for you guys. So cool. What is this, like an old TA? That thing looks cool. Looks like they're doing some kind of shoot there or about to. We got some lights set up and a nice camera. That thing is sick though, not gonna lie. Well, I think it's time I headed home. Got a lot of work to get done, videos to edit, merch orders to pack. Thank you so much once again, guys, to each and every one of you who's been jumping on the merch. I really do appreciate it and it helps out so much, especially with everything that's right around the corner, like moving into a shop and having to get a whole bunch of stuff. By the way, we did hear back from the owner and we're kind of going backwards and forwards a little bit right now, but it seems like everything's gonna go through. Um, we just may not be getting the full space of both of those shops. We may only be able to get one. Um, it's just We'll go into detail later when everything's finalized, but it looks like things are going ahead there, which is awesome. Um, I'm just happy that we're getting our foot in the door and able to actually get a space and, and do some of this stuff. But obviously when getting a shop comes with a lot of costs, like just to give you a fair idea here in Japan, on average, to be able to get into a building here, you need to pretty much have 20 to $30,000 on hand ready to give as part of the deposit. You have the deposit to pay, you have a key money to pay, uh, which is like another deposit they just slap on top of it. You have to pay the real estate agent a fee, and then you also have to pay some other kind of like, I think like the first couple months of rent. So like just to get a small space, like 150 to 200 square meters, you need to have 20 to 30 grand ready just to get in the door. Um, so expenses are kind of crazy right now trying to get that and I've been saving up for the longest time to be able to do that. If I was in Australia, I would have had a shop like probably a year ago because literally all they ask you for is like two or three months and that's it. That's like your deposit and your first month's rent. And you normally get a couple months rent free and all this stuff. It's so much better renting in Australia or the USA when it comes to commercial properties, but that is just how it is here in Japan. It's kind of hectic. I'm sure you guys understand that. Um, but yeah, anyways, that aside, um, I just want to say thank you to everyone getting the merch. It helps out a lot and it's going towards the shop and everything we're doing there. So if you haven't jumped on it yet, go get yourself some merch, semit.net. Uh, and with that guys, I'm gonna head home, but thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Tell me in the comment section what was your favorite car, and I'll see you all in tomorrow's vlog. By the way, I relaunched the second channel. It's called Semit Raw. A whole bunch of raw driving footage will go there. Also, uh, the new server um, build will go there. Video where I'm building a server at home. The old one died. That's where the Minecraft server lives that you guys play on in the Discord and stuff. Anyways, that aside, Go check out the second channel and subscribe and check out the raw content that's coming there weekly and enjoy a little bit of extra summit uh, when you've run out of watching my daily content here on this channel. Why won't this camera focus? So I'll catch you in tomorrow's vlog, guys. Peace out. Jamata.